I am so tired. You know, I didn't even have to get up until like 9.15 this morning. I went to bed at like 10 last night. I probably didn't fall asleep until 11.30 or 12, but I actually went to bed at 10. And I, I got a lot of sleep because I woke up at 9.15. And I, I'm just so tired. I don't even know why. School's draining. I have four hours left of my junior year in high school. So today I'm going to review Daphne's book by Mary Downing Hahn. Um, it's, I guess maybe this might be juvenile fiction, but I think it's YA. It, oh my god, I've read this book so many times. It's about a girl named Jessica, and she is a good writer, and she is kind of friends with the popular kids, but she doesn't exactly fit in with them, and there's this girl named Daphne who's really quiet and everybody thinks she's weird and she walks around with her nose in her book all the time and she doesn't really talk to anybody because nobody likes her and they're doing the story project in their class and Daphne is the best artist in the class and Jessica's the best writer in the class and so the teacher pairs them together because he wants them to make a really good book together and Jessica's friends kind of want her to make an excuse not to work with Daphne but it doesn't really work out, so she works with Daphne, and she finds out that Daphne has a secret. She lives in uh, these really bad conditions, and she she has a little sister named Hope, who is really cute. And I just, I mean, there's a lot more to Daphne than you think, and then you see. But it's it's a really good book. I liked it a lot. And... It's, I, it makes me cry every time I read it, and I still read it from time to time because I just love it. It's just, it's good. And it's pretty short, and it's an easy read. It's 166 pages, but you should definitely read this. I like the cover, too. It's pretty. I'm going to see Star Trek for the third time tomorrow with my friends after school. Okay, I love Spock so much, and I've looked at pictures of the actor who plays Spock, um, in his human form, and I am not at all attracted to him when he's a human. Not at all. It's only when he's a Vulcan, or half Vulcan, so I've decided that we are going to have children, we're going to get married and we're going to have children, and I'm going to name our first child Spock Jr., the nerd-fighting one-fourth Vulcan. Does that sound good? Yesterday, Meg said the theme was, choose a book in which you would like to live. I can't choose. I'm trying so hard. I am trying so hard to choose. There are kind of two choices that I, I'm choosing between, between which I am choosing. Oh my god, prepositions! Um, the first one is difficult. 13 Little Blue Envelopes. Who wouldn't want to take a trip around Europe? I mean, it's sad I, I that what happened to her aunt, what happened to Peg. It's sad, but who wouldn't want to take a trip around Europe and have an adventure and meet a boy like Keith and just kind of find out more about yourself? That sounds amazing, but I guess that would be taking Ginny's place, and I guess I wouldn't exactly have the same journey that Ginny did, but uh, I think that would be fun. And second choice is Harry Potter! If I get to be a witch, but if I don't get to do magic and stuff, then that I guess that wouldn't be as fun because I'd be in the middle of a war, a war and I wouldn't know what was going on. So if I get to be a witch and I go into Harry Potter, then I think I'm going to have to go with Harry Potter. But if not, then definitely 13 Little Blue Envelopes because how awesome would that be? But then again, if I don't... If I go into 13 Little Blue Envelopes, I wouldn't necessarily be traveling. Maybe I would be one of the people who met Ginny along the way. But I'd be okay with that, because I would be helping her find herself and grieve and be adventurous for once in her life. So, this is too hard. Genevieve, I'll see you tomorrow.